This is NDTV and you are watching NDTV Prime. Hi and thanks for watching On Art. I'm Anu Subramanian. Tonight we have a roundup of some of our favorite stories all about heritage art. Tonight the focus is on Indian culture and that takes us across the country. Parsi people make up a fraction of a fraction of the Indian population. There are only about 70,000 of them nationwide. And yet, Amitav Ghosh tells us, they lay down the foundation for some of our national obsessions, Bollywood and cricket. Let's find out how at a series of exhibitions that took place across Delhi. Parsi people make up a small fraction of the Indian population. There are only 70,000 Parsi men and women in the whole country. And yet, the lasting influence of these people is tremendous. Since a small group of Parsi men and women arrived in India 1,200 years ago, they have been influential in shaping the country's economy, art, music, even technology. Mumbai and Gujarat have the largest share of India's Parsi population. But recently, a series of exhibitions about Parsi culture were held across New Delhi at the National Museum, Indra Gandhi National Center for the Arts, and National Gallery of Modern Art. Each show honed in on a different facet of Parsi history or culture, shining light on Zoroastrian ancient traditions which began in Iran, and how those have bloomed in new ways here in India. Dr. Shernaz Kama curated the show at IGNCA and has been involved with all three of the exhibitions. One of the aims is to record a dying community, very frankly, because demographically we are declining very rapidly. Uh, the second point is to show the world what is a Parsi and what is a Zoroastrian. And India has got many, many minorities, uh, very few as small as the Parsis and very few as old as the Parsis. This is a Bronze Age civilization which has contributed and continues to contribute in the 21st century. At Indra Gandhi National Center for the Arts, their show, titled Threads of Continuity, put everyday life at the center, displaying traditional garments, instruments, books. It is the product of 20 years of oral tradition recording. So whatever you see in Threads of Continuity is actual live people in their homes and the objects you see are from their homes and they've been collected uh, because of our research in the oral traditions. The National Gallery of Modern Art introduced a crucial element of Parsi history to its audience, trading. For hundreds of years, Parsi traders along the coast have worked as seamen, facilitating trade between Britain and China. This deals with the visual language and the impact of culture and the cross-pollination of sensibilities that trade brings about. The Parsis that are known for their entrepreneurship and bringing in a great deal of philanthropy into the country. How and what truly happened during this 300 years of this phenomenal uh, encounter with China. The exhibition goes into Parsi people's bloody involvement in China's opium wars. And the National Gallery of Modern Art saw itself to be uniquely positioned to tell this story. It becomes far more important to have these exhibitions in Delhi where exposure on the community you know, and their contributions to the community is uh, rather uh, not so well known as opposed to Bombay where a larger cross-section of them live in. The exhibitions were bid farewell with an address about Parsi culture by writer Amitav Ghosh. His novel called River of Smoke focused on Parsi traders during the Opium Wars. 
this enormous influence you know the transformative influence which they had uh, you know on modern indian public culture modern indian pop culture in general uh, you know when indian th indians think of how modern india came into being they think of it as a process of sort of uh, copying from the west cricket parsis were um, instrumental in introducing cricket to india you know i mean they were amongst the first to take up cricket and i think they actually took up cricket in china you know the parsis really in many many different ways many different fields they really uh, helped to uh, to create modern india the break we'll hear a word from mojarto.com and learn about a form of puppetry that was performed in the royal court centuries ago and continues to be today don't go anywhere on art will be right back 